Most of the budget projectors I've looked at in the past are 1080p capable, but not 1080p natively. So when Cronova reached out to me about a $200 projector that was native 1080p, I got extremely excited to test it. The question is, do the extra pixels matter and should you buy this projector? I'm CE Tech Dude. Let's take a look. The first thing you'll notice about this projector is the color. The red color choice is an interesting change from the gray, black, or white color schemes of most home theater equipment. Now whether you like it or not is a matter of preference, but it is unique nonetheless. In the box you get that red projector along with some other accessories. A power cable, an AV to composite cable, an HDMI cable, a lens cap, and a cleaning cloth. And a little screw for fine tuning the setup of the projector. The projector also has four mounting holes underneath the rubber foot pads on the bottom. For input you get a pretty good selection. There's one VGA, two HDMI, one three and a half millimeter audio output, one AV input, and two USB ports that you can use to either play content from or to power your HDMI devices that have USB power. Setting up the projector is easy as plugging in power and an HDMI device and you're good to go. One thing to note is the HDMI ports are a little close together on the back of the projector. And the input panel is sunken in so there is a lip that can make fitting a smart TV stick or other devices that have large connectors hard. Thankfully, most smart TV devices come with an HDMI extender, which I had to use in my setup. You can adjust focus using the focus ring, and you can adjust vertical keystone correction using the keystone ring to fine tune placement, since there is no lens shift in this projector. It also has built-in speakers which do a decent job. They get loud, but won't be a good replacement for dedicated speakers in a home theater environment. But they are acceptable for small environments or for outdoor use. There's also a few different sound modes in the settings menu, so find the one that works best for you. Moving on to the video quality, I was a little disappointed with the out-of-the-box calibration, but once you fine-tune the video settings, which don't follow inputs, so if you adjust the settings on one HDMI input, you'll have to do it again on the other. But once you get the settings adjusted, things look better, and I will leave my settings in the description below. Now while you're down there, why don't you make sure you hit that subscribe button for me, I'd appreciate it. I tested this projector in a variety of different ways, in different lighting conditions with different media sources and using different projection screen sizes. The first setup I tested was projecting onto my 120 inch dedicated screen. Now in complete darkness, this projector looks pretty good. The 1080p native resolution is a needed option at this screen size. Movies, TVs, and games all look good, although there is a little softness and focus on the corners of this screen size. And in conditions where the environment is completely dark, the projector can get plenty bright to compensate and still have good picture quality. I also tested this projector at 100 inch screen size and things look much better at that screen size. There's no soft focus at this size and content looks even better in both ambient light conditions and darkness. Gaming also looks great on this projector at both screen sizes, although it looks just a little sharper at the 100 inch screen size. I had no problems playing Fortnite or asphalt racing, or any emulators that I had. Um, everything looked great and it was a joy playing on a huge screen. So overall, I really like this projector. And at $200, it's a no-brainer for a budget home theater build or for outdoor movie night. 100 inch screen size and lower seems to be the sweet spot. And at this screen size, everything looks great. You can buy this projector using the link in the description below. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm CE Tech Dude, you just got CE Tech. Have a great day, see you next time. Thanks for watching.